Hello guys, welcome back. I just new, made a new upgrade with my uh, power station. Uh, basically, I changed the layout. So right now I can put eight or oh, eighty volt battery in instead of six of them. So that will be increased much uh, capability to increase your running time. Uh, I think uh, this is the biggest you know battery powered generator you can find on the market right now uh, if you just compare to uh, ego power station so even though ego has a 10 amp hour battery already come out but uh, compared to the full capability this is still bigger so so think about the 80 volt battery. Right now the maximum have six amp hour battery. Uh, if you put a eight of six amp hour battery, there will be totally uh, 48 amp hour 80 volt batteries, right? And the Ego one, the maximum you can put in is a four by 10 amp hour, which is a 40 amp hour. But the 40 amp hour is only a uh, 56 volt and this is 80 volt so this is a probably a 20 to 30 percent more so this is a 2500 watt uh in water uh the ego one is only 20 thousand the ego one is only a 2000 watt so this is a 500 watt more compared to ego one so even though the ego one mark like a 3000 what but uh, those are just uh, pink performance so i can mark my like a 5000 watt because this is just a pink performance it doesn't really count anything so right now the milwaukee also come up the bigger uh, power station uh, but uh, the first they are so expensive <laughs> you can check on that price I mean, those are for, so so expensive, and also the capability. This is still more than the Milwaukee as well. Okay, let me uh, go through some detail. First, you can see here that's a uh, on-off switch. That's an indicator for the battery and the uh, outlet. And uh, you have a. Uh, so that's a regular outlet. This gave you a 10 amp uh, current, which is equal to regular home outlet. That's pretty much 10 amp. And also you have 20 amp outlet right here, which you can collect some, uh, you know, heavy duty uh, uh, applications. Uh, that's on this side, and you have handle on both sides. There's another handle on this side. And then uh, here, that's the AC charger to charge the batteries. Uh, back side. So that's another handle, and there's... Uh, terminal to you know collect all the batteries uh, you can easily extend if you have more batteries you can extend from here to connect more batteries um, <laughs> but those are already pretty heavy you know. and on this side and they said it's uh you know this is a solar panel ready so um, whatever the solar panel you have you can just plug in here so you will charge the battery automatically um, right now I, I can actually show you I just uh, so right now they have a standard 12 come out so basically if you just plug in your car Give you charge the batteries um, it's the same like a it's a power source if you have power source from a solar panel you you, you just plug in here so it will charge the batteries well, if you have power source from your car I mean 
standard 12 volt so you can plug in to charge your batteries so i'll show you how that works i just have a you know this uh, small uh, 12 volt batteries so those are uh, sort of couple of company make 12 volt batteries and just uh, made a uh, little adapters to grab the 12 volt come out so that's how that works uh, I have those adapter for sale on my website so if I just plug in so this is a simulate that like if you plug in your car to give a 12 volt to the to give it the 12 volt So right now they have 12 volt come out. Okay. And uh, the shows import wattage and the battery wattage. And uh, so watt is uh, how, how much power they're charging the batteries. So the um, so maximum uh, for this this little one will be uh, 600 watt uh, but those are still considered a pink performance I will I will more simply more think about this like a 300 watt so if you want to uh, you know put more solar panel like a, the 300 watt actually is already pretty big solar panels so the Henry one of hundred watt solar panel probably already that big so yes <laughs> you to link three three of them uh, but in any way if you want to uh, you know get more solar panel you just uh, you know buy more of those solar charger solar charger to uh, link to the batteries uh, those are pretty pretty simple like say like i said all the terminal all the extension is right here so you can extend get more uh, more batteries more solar charger to charge your whole system uh, so you can see right now it's it's start charging the batteries uh, so basically those are automatically started so whenever the power come in, it will start to charge the battery. Whenever the camera, uh, battery cut off, and it will cut off by itself. Uh, you don't really need to, you know, pay more attention on those. Like uh, right now, if I just unplug here, so there's no more power in, it will stop. It's the same thing if you have if you link to the solar panel. And uh, when, once it goes to the dark, because so, the panel will not generate any more power, it will shut out by itself. And when under the sun come up and the solar panel will start generate energies, and it will start by itself. So that's this part. And uh, I also made a different here. Let's see. So each of this bed, let me turn this off first <laughs> for security. So right now the each of the batteries, I put a secure pin inside. Say so this is the kind of secure pin. So that make sure that each battery will be plugged in the right direction. So so this is the the batteries, right? So if you uh, try to plug in this way, so the pin will be blocked. So the only way, the only way you can plug in will be in the right direction. Okay, because the because the the a, uh, the DC power is not like an AC, so you can you know plug in this way and turn another side plug in you won't you won't you know damage anything but the dc power whenever you mess up your positive and negative you will burning off your equipment right away so that's very important 
So that's another upgrade. You can see there's a little secure pin on every of this connector. So whenever uh, whenever you plug in, you can always you you can only plug in in the right direction. And also, I made a little uh, terminal uh, cover. So if you don't use it, you can just cover it. Cause think about this is a whole system. It's uh, all linked together. So any one of the battery plug-in, so basically they all has power, all has electricity right here. So whenever you don't want to use any of them, you just no. Well, you don't have eight of the batteries. You just uh, you know put a cover on it. It's pretty simple. So you just put a cover on it. So that will be protect the whole system. So the, the advantage for the you know battery powered power station to compare you know gas powered generator because this is a very because this, this is a basically no noise. So only noise you can hear is from the little fan, you know, to keep the machine cooling. That's that's pretty much only the noise you you're gonna hear. Uh, so that's the advantage for the you know battery power and and also it's just no smells you cannot really put a gas generator inside the house right because <laughs> there'll be all the toxic gas come out and 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 this is you can put inside of a house so the advantage to use a power tool battery is the first of all, you know, the old bat, all those battery, you can, you know, power up many another uh, tools you may already have, and uh, you may need those tools, right? And so that's that's a big advantage. And also think about if you build a, you know, power station like this big, you know, to put that big battery in there. Um, think about if the battery dies. You have to replace the whole batteries, and those are you can just replace individually. So you don't, <laughs> you know, you don't need to replace whole eight of eighty volt batteries. No, you don't have to do that. So that's that's also a big advantage. So this is my third version of my power station. Any question? Let me know. Any requests? Just let me know. I may be upgrade to another word. <laughs> we'll see you next time.